Hello, and yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's training is going to be on how to record sales commission. So most of the time, uh, some company or businesses have sales rep that actually sell their product for them or services. So they pay them based on commission. So how do you do this in QuickBook? So the first thing you have to do you have to create an employee okay let me check uh go to employee center you need to have employees so i'm gonna have i'm gonna do sales commission for two employees so i have two employees here i'm the for time whenever and george abraham okay so the next as a first step you have to have an employee so you have two employees in this case so we we'll then go to list go to customer any profile list then select sales rep okay okay so we've selected sales rep so we don't have any sales rep here so click on sales rep here new we're going to select from our employee list because it's connected to that we have of the first time zero so i click on okay i'm going to create another one again new See, it's easier because I've created an employee, but I can also create employee from here if I don't have them listed here. So I have George Abraham. Okay, click on OK. Now we have sales rep. Okay, that's step two. Step three now is to go to chart of account. We need to create an account for uh, commission table and commission expenses. Okay. Uh, new commission payable we help us track the amount we are supposed to hold uh, the amount we are owing the so commission payable is going to be a liability so we help us to track the amount we are owing uh, our employee as a result of the commission where uh, that he or she is entitled to so you see you're going to select a liability account okay so we have other current liability okay then click on continue so from here uh, i'm going to name it uh, commission payable okay commission payable okay as other current liability save and close or save and new We'll create the second one which is commission expenses as an expense account now this one is to help us track the payment that we have paid to the employee on commission so commission uh, commission sorry spelling commission uh expenses okay so as an express account which is correct so save and close that is the step three okay step one we create uh employee we have to create an employee then the second we now link it to the sales rep here so we've clicked uh, link to sales rep third step is to create commission expense and commission payable uh, account so then the fourth step is to create go to item list you know if you are creating an invoice the only things you can bring up in an invoice are items so just that we have to connect those items to the account and the account is very, very important because those are where the transactions we go to but you cannot select the account directly from the invoice rather we have to select an item so i'm going to we are going to create an item as other charges okay uh other charge from here now i'm going to put commission commission payable or liability then i'm going to select is not taxable so i'll input the rate here so let's say the rate is um, uh, five percent. Okay, so I'm going to select uh, 
a commission payable account so you see i've linked it to this account okay so i'm going to create a new one so next to create another one other charges then here i want to select commission uh commission expenses okay so but this time around i'm going to select commission expenses account that we created earlier on so commission expense account okay uh the percentage also is same as the liability okay so that is the fourth step after doing this we are good to go so we'll go to customer here and create invoice so when i create invoice now okay so we have a customer uh, let's say steve co okay by using uh, uh today's date 11th of february 2023 okay now this intuit professional invoice uh let's go to list that is the fifth step now go to list then go to templates you i'm going to show you how to edit this template in order to reflect so i'm going to select this so we are editing that so right click and edit okay additional customization here okay so okay so uh additional customization okay on the column aspects okay you see there is sales rep so if you want uh this sales rep to reflect on our screen and if you want to also print it if you want to include it uh, if you want to include it to the printout you also check it under the print here here okay so we don't want to actually print it out we just want to have it on quickbooks so we'll check on that on our screen so that we can see it on our screen okay so but if you want to print you click on this if you don't want to uh, print it if you don't want it to reflect on the printout you leave it as it as is okay so i think that is just the adjustments i want to show us here click on okay go back to go back to uh the invoice we are creating earlier on okay so create invoice we are there so okay okay i want to I want us to be able to see the sales rep so create invoice again so we're supposed to uh sales rep is not reflecting okay okay let's go back to the templates it's into professional invoice okay so we'll go back to list go back to templates okay we made a copy there is a new one as copy okay so i'll go back to that invoice so i'm going to select the copy because that is where we made our adjustment the other one was locked which is this copy now we should see our rep uh, which is which is already selected here so we are going to create two invoices for steve co for each of the employee okay now uh, select the item let's say it was training or let's even say it was software installation and the amount is um 250,000. non taxable yeah of course we we'll select this non taxable should not be taxed okay then down here uh we want to select those two items so instead of selecting them one after the other we can select them one after the other or we can also go to uh chart of accounts 
uh, list item list uh, new. Okay, so we're gonna group a group item. Okay, so I'm gonna select commission expenses and uh, commission uh, payable. Okay, so I'm concording commission total, commission total. Okay, once that is done, I click on OK. Now I have an adjustment to make. Uh, the commission expense is supposed to be a negative zero, so I'm going to edit that. That is minus, so I'm going to put here minus is a charge. So actually, if I leave it like that, it's going to minus automatically. But because of we are connecting it to an expense account, so we have to relate it in this manner. But I'm going to show us afterwards how it's going to affect uh reports, profit and loss account, and then balance sheet. Okay, let's click on okay. Okay, let's go back to the invoice. Uh, create invoice. Okay, so if here we only have one item, so let's say we select two items. Let's say we added training, and training is um one fifty thousand. Okay, now we have to do a subtotal. So here I don't have a subtotal, so we can also add new. So we are creating items one after the other. So uh, subtotal. Okay, so put subtotal here, subtotal as it is. So we want to subtotal the amount, yeah, the amount so that we can, uh, okay, that's correct. So click on okay. If it is one item, we don't need subtotal. See why we need subtotal so that we can get the total of this figure here as 400, which is correct. But if it is just one item, we can just go ahead. So now we're going to select that uh, that commission okay commission total which is group i'm going to select this now okay now these are under them so we have uh the total amount here is 400,000. so okay here to is 400,000 okay now you see minus and plus that is zero so that it will not add an additional value to our uh it will not add additional value to the okay uh did i just delete that okay let me add it again so commission total okay uh Four hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. Okay, so okay, so you see that is why if it were not if added bin would not include minus here, but when we are having an additional figure here, so this minus assist then it will also assist us in our report. So now we we are done with this invoice. Uh, we can just select the date to February eleventh, and that is the invoice number. Now, very important, we are going to select the sales rep. So, this is to Abdifatai Muniru. Okay, uh, save and new so that I can do for George. Okay, so uh, I'm, going, I'm going to do another transaction for George. So, I'll go to Steve Company. Uh, this time I select George. Then I select the item. Let's say George is uh, training and then uh, the amount is um, uh, let's say 145,000. Okay, then we don't need to select a subtotal here, so all we just need is to select the commission total. Okay, commission total, then we will know that it's 145,000. So he's gonna have his commission on this one for the five thousand. Okay, so now it's seven to fifty. Okay, which is correct. So I'll save and close uh, using today's date. Okay, so save and close. 
Okay, so I'll close. Okay, now let's go to check our reports to see if these records are done properly. So let's go to reports, company and financial, then go to profit and loss, standard. Okay, from here, uh, you can see, okay, this month to date, which is correct. So we'll go to, we want to see our column based on employee. Ah, oh yeah, sorry. This is for sales, okay. Uh, this is for sales. Uh, not here. So, but under expenses, you can see that our total expenses here is twenty seven two fifty. Twenty seven two fifty. So, we are going to double click on that to break down. You see now we have for twenty thousand and seven two fifty. Okay. Now let's go to balance sheet. Company and financial. Go to balance sheet standard. Over here. Uh, okay. You see the commission table is twenty seven two fifty. If you double click on that, you also see the breakdown. Okay. The breakdown. Uh, okay, rep, rep, we have rep. Yeah, based on rep. Okay, so you can see now we have 20,000 commission for Abdul Fatah then 7,250 commission for George Abraham. That's the liability that we are to pay these persons. So uh, now I'm going to profit and loss again. Now click on profit and loss. From profit and loss, let's see if we can also do that. According to rep, okay, this is it. According to rep, so Abu Fatah is entitled to 20,000, and George Abraham is also entitled to 7,250. So, but remember, we've not paid, but you know, it's based on a CRA basis. So, that uh, so now if we want to pay, we can now go ahead to make our payment from this. Hope you guys understand this class if you have any question please drop on the comment section like my video share give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notification so that you get notified whenever i make new uh intriguing and interesting videos see you guys in my next class have a wonderful day and bye